In a previous series of videos, I described Firebase, I implemented Firebase in my build.gradle file, and I created a DTO and populated a DTO that we want to store into Firebase. In this video, we're going to implement Firebase in our GPS supplant activity. So one of the first things that we want to do is set an authentication method. Uh, just so you know how I got here, I go to Firebase, and then I find the application that I created. I go to Database, and then from Database, just one moment, sorry, uh, Authentication. Let's start with Authentication, and I'm going to say Set Signup Method, and I'm going to say Anonymous, and we will enable this and save. Now, anonymous means that we are doing the authentication within our application. Uh, we're not letting Firebase do it. We're letting anybody write to the Firebase database. So we typically don't want to make this anonymous for a production app. But for the sake of speed, I'm going to go ahead and make it anonymous. So we have several other things here, including our database. Um, we will take a look at that once we have saved an item into our database. So let's start with the save specimen method that we created in a previous video. And just a reminder, this is the save button here. What it's doing is it's aggregating the latitude, longitude, uh, plant name, location, and description into one DTO that we're calling the specimen DTO. So, and once again, I've already added Firebase dependencies to my build Gradle file. So if you're just watching this video without watching the previous videos, you will need to add it to your build Gradle. So let's start by saying, Firebase database dot get instance and that's kind of like a factory method so control alt V will will store that into a variable called Firebase database. Now I'm going to say uh, Firebase database dot get reference and once again we'll use a little control alt V magic and we will save that into something called reference. That'll work. After this we're going to say reference and then we'll say dot child. Now this is kind of, uh, think of Firebase as a hierarchical database of sorts. And what we're saying is, where do we want to go on this hierarchy? I'm going to make one called specimens. I'm going to make a new kind of leaf or branch called specimens. And then I'm going to say dot push. And then I'm going to say dot set value. And notice that takes an object. So I'm going to pass in the specimen DTO that I created up above. Terminate with the semicolon, build and deploy, and let's see what we get. Now our application has loaded. I did notice while it was loading, I did notice I do need to do one more thing on Firebase, and that is it gives me an option here on which database type I want to choose, a cloud file store or the traditional database. So I'm going to go with the traditional database, and I'll simply choose create database like so. And we'll start in test mode, which means anybody can access our application. And I'll choose enable. Okay, and now we have our database. And so, it, 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 of course, it warns us anybody can access the database. We don't want to do that in production. We want to have some kind of authentication. But nonetheless, you do see that we have a, uh, some kind of data structure right now. So let me, go, let me continue to work through our application here. We'll go with our friend, the Eastern Redbud. And then we'll say location, we'll say Cincinnati Zoo again. And description, a really nice tree. Now what I'm anticipating is that I'll hit save here and it's going to take me into the debugger where I set a breakpoint and we'll see F8, 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 F8. We're simply populating our specimen DTO with data. We saw that in a previous video, so I skipped over it a little bit quickly. Now what I'm going to do is F8 to get our Firebase database instance. I like doing this in the debugger first, so if there is an exception, I can track it down. Now we'll get our database reference, and finally we're going to push this specimen DTO to our database. I want to show how this works in real time, so I'm actually going to move uh, the IDE to a different screen so that you can watch. I'll tell you when I press F8, and you can watch what happens to this web page when I press F8. So when I press F8, it's going to take our specimen DTO, and it's going to push it up to Firebase. And on 3, I'll press F8. 1, 2, and 3. And you see, nearly instantaneously now, it created the specimen's leaf, and take a look under here. A really nice tree, uh, Cincinnati Zoo and Botanic Garden, Circus Canadensis Eastern Redbud. If I run back to my emulator, you see I've only gone as far as executing this line number 257, and we're good. 
So saving data to Firebase is quite straightforward. And that's essentially this step here where we're on a device and we save data into the cloud. Nice thing about Firebase is it handles offline well and it knows how to resync when it goes back online. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the other side of this equation, which means we save data to the cloud and then that data replicates on other devices that are subscribed to the same Firebase database. That's one thing that is a lot of work under the covers that's handled for us very easily with Firebase. So I look forward to seeing you in that next video. Thank you.